What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. Ken don't miss Deara. Santana, Santana, Santana. LOL. Quando still crying. We about to get into this video. We probably gonna skip that Quando part. I ain't gonna care because I really... Is it just me or do you... I, I don't care. Okay. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Not my crazy ass was talking on my intro. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league. So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. Girl, it is so much going on. But... I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey, creeps, and welcome to 2022 Next to Monday. How you doing? Y'all, oh my God. Okay, we literally have made it into a new year. So we have to toast, because I didn't get to toast with y'all on New Year's. I don't know what this is, honey, but we finna see what she give, and I hope she give a whole lot, a whole lot of so we can kiki on these girls' time. Look, be real ratchet, pour up to the top. Okay, y'all got your stuff, get your stuff, get your stuff. We got a toast, get your blunt, put it up in the air, get your wine, put it up in the air, your liquor, whatever, your lean, whatever. It, no, I'm not promoting that. We on, good, we on good shit this year. Whatever, put it up in the air. I just want to say, I appreciate y'all. For sure. I love you, y'all faithfulness, y'all's loyalty, y'all support. Because when bitches be going in on me, I see y'all attacking them. And bitch, it is what it is. Don't fuck with me. We won't fuck with y'all. Period. So I appreciate y'all teacups. Y'all is my babies. And I love you. To a new year, to money, to happiness, to whatever it is that you want in your life. I pray that God showers you with it. If not all of it, just a little sprinkle of time. Okay, we talking too much. Bitch, get fucked up. Hello. And it is what it is. All right. It's time to get into some bullshit, but before we start, I need y'all to hit that subscription button if you have not already. Also, hit the bell so you can turn on my post notifications so you can know when I post a video besides Mr. Monday. And I need y'all to hit that thumbs up. Because you can't even do the dislike button no more. Honey, I mean, you can, but it's not showing the numbers, so girl, why do it? Shout out to my friend, and that is... Y'all, for making it into 2022 with me. Hey, bitch. Thank y'all for being that motherfucker. Anyway, yeah. let's get into y'all's favorite part. That is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First, the sugar honey iced tea, we have Kim and Dear. And I think it's safe to say that this is over. Okay, Dierra out here about to taste the rainbow, doing Period. her thing, Probably and Ken is out here living his best life. So, oh, Ken was on a podcast, and they asked him certain questions, and one of the questions was, do you miss Dierra? Do you miss her? <laughs> um, that was such an awkward laugh. <laughs> was like, it was like, <laughs> what the do I miss, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just put it out there, do I miss Dierra? I don't, I can't say that I miss her, because we do still communicate. Exactly. Oh. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. They talk consistently. They yeah, say, we still communicate here and there. Man. I do miss her family for sure. Now that I can agree with. How can you miss somebody if you're talking to them every day? Now some folks saying, what the hell they got to talk about? They ain't got no children, girl. This man yeah, cheated yeah. on you. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. But if you go back and listen to what Deara said in the video, she said they did not break up over cheating. It was just other things. So whatever the case may be, they could just been not compatible anymore or falling out of love or they, it just wasn't what they thought. Now child, I know what I saw. And y'all know what y'all saw. And we know the timing of the breakup. So I don't know. Ass grabbing on the phone. Oh, hey, if it ain't cheating, I don't know what it is. Hello, somebody. But it is what it is. Then they go on and they ask him, during y'all's relationship, did y'all ever stay together for financial purposes? Did y'all ever think about 
like staying in a relationship because of financial reasons? Child, they had got so rich. They didn't need to. Uh, no. Never? Nah, nah. When it became that time to mutually separate, that was just what it was. Yeah. Yeah, we never tried to say, nah, we're going to fake it or nah. Now, child, the way these YouTubers be lying, I don't know. Because she wasn't wearing that ring for a long time. Y'all wasn't posting on your YouTube videos for a long time, too. You can, well, also, you can just go to the channel and see that y'all y'all weren't, y'all weren't uploading as much. Right, right, right. I mean, like you said, there, there, there was... Like build up, not not necessarily a build up to like this big separation. Yeah, for sure. It's just a build up of just trying to kind Co-exist of, you know something. what I'm saying? Just trying to figure things out. That's pretty much all it was. Just trying to figure out what's going to happen or what do we want to happen. Having those conversations, you know what I'm saying? That's tough. You, you know, know, after you have those tough conversations, face. you can't go put camera in somebody's face. You know what I mean? Well. They're both doing their own thing. They both seem to be very happy. Diero's living her life. He's doing his. And I'm just glad that they are very mature about the situation, not down to each other like a lot of these other people do, which I knew they wouldn't do if they ever broke up because they're just not on that type of level. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to De'Ara and Ken. I'm still DK4L for life. Me too. I'm still Team Ken. No shade of De'Ara, but... I'm Team De'Ara all day. What's up, Poppy? love me some Ken. <laughs> if it ain't about me. Let's keep keep next. Okay. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Quando Rondo. You do this every year, baby. You not tired yet? What's the tea? So, child, on December 21st, Quando took to his internet and he said, Don't get me nothing I can afford on Christmas. I'ma be pissed on God. Now, sweetie, <laughs> you said don't get you nothing that you can't afford. So if you can't afford it, <laughs> What the fuck make you think we can afford it? I ain't gonna get you shit you can't get yourself. You got me fucked up. I'm gonna get it for me. I ain't gonna lie, that was stupid as hell. That was dumb as hell to say. Got the nerve to say if he can't afford it, then don't get it. Well, bitch, I guess you want it. Shit. Hell is you talking about, motherfucker? You the one with the money. If I can afford it, I don't. The answer is going to be no. Afford it. You have to instead of tell us about keep up with Quando. We have Gio and Diamond Flawless. Well, let me be real, y'all. I got spooked because when she made that post and she said she was out of the mental hospital here in Atlanta, Georgia, I said, oh. She coming to get me. He's stupid as fuck. I was spooked, y'all. I said, look, she had already told me, though, you're dead. I I, I said, she said what she said. (laughs) I turned my house alarm on, locked my window. I I let my dog sleep out the cage at night. I said, one thing about it, we gonna be ready. Because she do the pop up, she popped up on Sid, she popped up on everybody, and it looks like she popped up on Gio, and everybody was talking about it because you know, mind you, back in the day, it was rumored out of her mouth that her and Gio messed around behind Sid's back, which had caused him and Sid to get in that fight. And I'm like, nigga, Gio, why you fucking with her? Ain't she the one who said all that shit, and you had to come back and clarify and fix everything up that she messed up? The fight between him and Sid, that one real. That was. She still lying saying she didn't. Fake as hell. If y'all believe that was real, that's on you. You can be dumb if you want to. If Cloud was a person, it would be Gio. I love you, though, Gio. Hang. Smooth. All right, well, it seems as though Diamond's doing better. Her name has died down. She ain't been doing too much foolishness, so that is really good because she is a beautiful girl. And I do hope the best for her. I don't wish evil on anybody. Look at me trying to keep myself from getting got while she in Atlanta. <laughs> I, you know how these YouTubers do. They use you when they see you at your lowest, honey. And that's what I felt Gio was doing. Okay, well, if it ain't about me, let's get keeping it. Okay. Next to the honey Ice Tea, we got A Boogie and Shea Bell. At this point, A Boogie, girl, go lay. We are tired of the bullshit, okay? You playing with this girl, leave her alone. Yeah, had went up under her post where she had said, I've been naughty all year, I don't listen, Merry Christmas, woo woo woo. And he gonna put third, nigga. <laughs> Next, who the fuck wanna keep having babies by you? You know what I'm saying? All oh, you do, you keep giving like, her babies, but you're not giving her a ring. 
What do you think she's supposed to do? I'd be tired of you too. Did you tell sis to go be free? Why you keep trying to trap free that he let her do? Now you want to come back and ruin it again. Stay the fuck hey, up. Next you feel like you move. Be able to get in contact. If it ain't about me, let's be key next. Okay. Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Jordan B. Well, Jordan B, welcome back, girl. I thought we weren't going to see you for it. You hear me? A tick, you call for Abu. Me, fucking rock your ass. The fuck, no attention. See, you don't be in no bush, sweetie. I will fuck him up. He run. He and sugar honey iced tea. Let's get yeah. into this mess. First one, okay? We have DG and Hallie. I don't know what is going on, but Hallie, run. Now, I ain't got no problem with DDG. I think he cool, he funny, he do whatever he do, but ha that's how he she knows, told, He sweetie. told that child to run, run, bum, dum, dum, dum. I will fuck him up for you. You hear me? Because you don't be in no bullshit, no weird shit, no prank shit, no attention seeking shit, no clout shit. And Ruby, sit your ass the fuck back. Because if you come for Halle, bitch, you gonna have to see about me. And I'm letting you know that motherfucker right now. Don't touch my boo. Don't, don't, don't sneak tweet my boo. Don't <laughs> say nothing <laughs> to my boo. Whatever that was. Now, I know they might be friends. He really did they that. They could shit. be friends on a little fun day, whatever the case may be. Woo, woo, woo. But I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Everybody talking about they look cute. No, the fuck they don't. They <laughs> haven't said nothing. She ain't said nothing. Because I know she's real private. She's real quiet. She ain't going to really say nothing. Hopefully, he respect her and don't come out and say nothing and let them do whatever the fuck they doing behind the scenes and let it be their thing. Period. Okay? Anyway. That's all I got because that's all they did. I'm like, <laughs> it's anything that helps. I'm sorry, we don't be getting upset about nothing. Could be damn best fucking friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm over here. I got a pop up blood vessel so and they just damn kick in. All right. If it ain't about me, y'all, I am tipsy. Next case. <laughs> Next one. Now, guess we got Ari versus. Apple Watts. Now, Ari had went on a podcast and she said some things that didn't sit right with people, but the person who decided to come out and say some stuff to her was Apple. But this is what Ari had to say. Like, book me a flight home. You know, call my mama. Breaking shit in and then like, now you got to stop me from leaving. But I was never going nowhere. Oh, yeah. You were talking to me. Like, pull your gun out and show me like, I wish you would walk out the door. Right. right now when i heard it i was like okay i get what she's saying yeah you why is everybody tripping about the fact that she want a nigga to pull a gun out of her she didn't say he pulled a gun out of her she said that's what she want what the fuck that got to do with us i don't understand you want your boyfriend to be like you ain't going nowhere because you know we've all said we want our men to fight for our love but there are people who go through domestic violence who don't find that stuff funny because once you're actually really in it, the shit ain't funny no more. So it's like you ask for it, but when you get it, then you want to press charges and say, God help me and why he did it. So don't make fun of stuff. Ari, like you're beautiful, but for yourself. I, nobody cares. Nobody cares. I'm with the gang. Right? I'm like, y'all yeah, turn me on. Stop me. Choke me. But I'm burn her out. But baby girl, why you gotta be so stuck up? You're like a tampon, so stuck up. We get it. You got money. We get it. But you ain't gotta be a beat up by you ain't got beat up before or something. Because you need to humble yourself a What being humble got to do with a nigga pulling they gun out on me? I'm in confusion. What the fuck that got to do with you? Why? 
what happened with money? Because the topic was the nigga done pulled a gun out on me. What? The fuck that got to do with The interview didn't even have nothing to do with that. Oh, child. The way these women hate on her. Get money. You get too happy. You need to humble yourself. You talk too much on the internet. And then you want to downgrade. Got beat up. Domestic violence. Humble your weird. She didn't even downplay nobody. She just said, fuck what y'all talking about. Then I didn't say it about y'all. Yo, people stupid. You got a little money and a little bit. And now you talking too much. Ooh, child. Relax your breath. Because I ain't one of them. Now, baby, let me tell you something. She sound like she chew black and mouth and cigarettes. Oh, I do God. not want to fight her. Did you not hear what mama said? Mama said, oh, I've been through that. I've been through the pistol whip. I've been through. I, wait, well, you shouldn't be watching that. Good God. Salute you because, bitch. <laughs> Good God. So then, you know, people on the internet, they like to pick and choose who they support or whatever the case may be. So they started attacking Apple Watch, saying she was cloud chasing. I don't hurt at all. That don't move me none. And that's the problem. I don't kiss. People talk about me stupid. all day long. You had no reason to say nothing. That shit didn't have shit to do with you. And that was PTSD. But girl, she didn't say Apple. She just say, I don't give a fuck if y'all got y'all ass beat like Apple, bitch. You got your ass beat and like, uh, she wasn't like, I answer to who I'm called from. Y'all, she didn't call you out. She, <clears throat> she didn't say nothing to you. This is a mess. And y'all on my page doing the same damn thing right now. Standing up for somebody that got hit by a woman, I mean, hit by it's not nothing to play about. Now, if you got okay, daughters, so watch it. Then, at the end of the day, you will understand. If you got beat by a man, then you will understand why I don't play that as a joke. You feel me? Okay, Ain't but here's my thing she wasn't talking to you. Like, people get so bothered by shit, but be watching it. This is stupid. <laughs> Nothing to be funny about. I don't hate on no woman. I don't hate. I'm not hating. She do what she want to do. I have no problem with that lady. I have no problem with nobody. I'm just speaking on the fact that <laughs> domestic violence ain't nothing to be funny about. It's women that done died. I get that. But you saying she cocky. What the fuck that got to do with domestic violence? She need to humble herself because she got money. What the fuck that got to do with domestic violence? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> it's in jail for hitting women out. Now, if it was a said, I don't care if you got beat by, so what? So what? Then you'll be mad. Y'all hate. I'm always going to be a nobody to you guys. I'm always going to be a washed up. I'm going to be whatever the I want me to be. Because at the end of the day, I don't care what you think about me. She don't care what I think about her and what I said. At right. the end of the day, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. And I don't think that no mother joke. So, child, I don't know. Ari ain't said nothing to her. Ari didn't give her no attention. And it is what it is. That was too much. Shit done died down. And that's how it went. Well, if it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping this case. I wouldn't say nothing. Next one, Ducky, we have Gunner. Now, baby, I don't know where Gunner was going with his little Beetlejuice outfit off. Oh, <laughs> bitch, she was tipping. <laughs> and it looked like he was tipping in the store to go get something. And I'm guessing somebody tried to rob him for his little purse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So whatever happened, happened, because ain't nobody talked about it yet. <laughs> but this is all Gunna had to say about the situation. Thou shall not steal. <laughs> so girl, don't y'all play with us? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's one hood ass bitch I <laughs> 
Baby! Mama is not playing the radio and y'all better get off her station. Okay? So, um, yeah. One thing about it, she she is gonna step. You hear me? Anyway, what? Y'all, you know what? Y'all, I'm about to skim through this. <laughs> this bottle was full. I've been drinking on the deal down because I need to stop. This is so unprofessional. <laughs> okay, well, if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep the case. Next one, Ducky, we have Nikki and Mrs. Thornton. <laughs> Now, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Nikki ain't do nothing wrong, let's be clear, because y'all box ain't finna get me. She hosted the Real Housewives. <laughs> she had gifted all their children some gifts for Christmas. Everybody was getting a little Gucci, 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 Gucci. And I, guess I didn't my, know what the fuck was going on. I'm still in the mail because I ain't got it yet, but it's okay. No, I'm gonna wait patiently. But it seems as though Miss Thornton got mad, and this is what she had to say. Sorry, you guys gotta get this filter action today because it's a little been a little bit of a rough day. Um, but I wanted to hop on really quick because I'm getting all kinds of messages saying, "Oh, if you didn't say this, you, you should have kept your mouth shut, and your kids would have got Gucci." I wonder sometimes what's going through people's mouths, like. You don't be silent to obtain material, people. Like, you speak your truth at all times. And you continue to stand up for yourself. If you don't stand up for yourself, then nobody will. I didn't feel like I was being rude or disrespectful. So Maybe what? Uh, the uh, uh, wallet came in for the child? You know, you just got That to was dumb as fuck. She a Liam. real. That Mia is going to forever be. And if you take a look around, and also to you guys, when it comes to the kids, I'm very sensitive because as you all know, I had a very traumatic childhood, right? We all know. It's something I'm going to forever to share because if it wasn't for my childhood, I wouldn't be who I am today. So my reactions to certain things is because of my past traumas, certain things that I may say or how I may act or you know, how I may do or not do, and it may not be appropriate for you, I'm doing the best that I can, y'all. You got to understand that they, it, life is hard, right? Man, what and I, my number one focus is to forever provide <clears throat> and make sure that my kids are happy. She didn't get contact with and Nikki if that means I got to buy her, them their Nikki own Gucci for Christmas IG. so they feel like they're not left out, then guess what? We go into the Gucci Girl, store. Shoot, I might up. buy the whole daggone store. Now, to me, I'm just like, how are you going to get mad? Because you said some foul shit to her. And if she decided not to give you something, then baby, she don't want to give you nothing. That's on her. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad because she gifted people shit and not your children. You said something. Okay, you said what you said. So that's dumb as fuck. I'm not going to lie. If she did all that and Nikki just couldn't find her, that's crazy. So stand on what you said. And if your kids don't get gifts and see that everybody else's children to get some, they can't blame nobody else but mama. Mama should have stayed the fuck quiet. Period. I mean, so you got like... Bitch, I wish somebody who did talk shit about me get upset because I gave they brother, cousin, and sister shit and then give them shit. I'm not giving you a motherfucking oh thing. Oh, God. Period. Can't get mad. And then on top of that, you blocked her. Jesus Christ. And when Nikki came out and said, I was following you, I was trying to find your address, but nobody seemed to know how to get in touch with you. I got the receipts to prove it. Woo, woo, woo. Then the girl want to come out with an apology and say, my queen, this and queen, that. She wasn't queen when you were saying what you had to say. That's stupid as fuck. She wasn't queen when you was upset when everybody. I don't feel like Nikki was against them kids anyway. You know what I'm saying? But. Y'all, this is dumb. This is just jumping the gun. This is stupid. Trojan was getting stuff, but when you see it was all because of you from the beginning, now she queen. Hey, you know better, do better. I was wrong. No, say, bitch, I fucked up. I talked too much shit and I blocked you. That's what you should have said. 
But see, when people know that they was the one that fucked up, they want to sweeten it up and make it sound better. But you had a lot to say when you thought she wasn't giving your kids Y'all, no step. That was the dumbest shit in the world. I'm not even wrong. She played herself and her children. Even when somebody called her out and said, but you had her block, she said, LOL, I forgot. Well, bitch, she's going to forget to send you that Gucci to your children that you was upset about. Goodbye, she said. You see how people do? Stupid. People be won't, 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 won't mm-hmm. but forget the shit they done said about you. Oh, God. Y'all see how that works? Uh huh. Jeez, I don't know, man. People love telling folks how to run their pockets, how to spend their money. Nikki, you better than me? Because I would have been like, girl, <laughs> Merry Christmas to her children. No okay. <laughs> What was it? <clears throat> anyway, well, I guess she sent her stuff. I guess they said it is what it is. Nikki, you very mature. All right, if it ain't about me. I'll be like, oh, she blocked me. Because y'all, look, let me see. I can't find her. Look and see if you can find it on your phone or on your Instagram. Yeah, on your Instagram. Oh, you see her? That means she got me blocked. Oh, shit, ain't no problem. (laughs) Next. Next, okay? Me. No, ma'am. You wouldn't be getting no Gucci. Next case. Next one, okay? We have Dylan Gonzalez and Trey Songz. Now, baby... (laughs) This shit is beyond me, okay? So Dylan, just out of nowhere, came on her Twitter and she said, Trey Songz is a rapist. Lord forgive me, I couldn't hold this in any longer. See you in 2022. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, son. You can't just post some shit like that and not elaborate. Okay. You need to tell her what the fuck you talking about. What the fuck going on? When, when, did, when did the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Bitch, you can't skip past that. Like, that was just like, oh, I gave him $100 and he didn't pay huh? me back. He raped my car, got a little scratch on it, but it's okay. I got it fixed. Bitch, <laughs> you said this nigga raped you. Wait a minute. Well, wait. You said he was a rapist. So did he mess with you? What? Oh, you know what? At this point. I mean, point, from the story times I've seen of these girls talking about him, he's very, very, very forceful. He don't like to talk. He just want to like, just beat you out the frame. If, as far as I'm concerned, this nigga need like a, um, <coughs> like a flashlight, pocket pussy. One of them shits. For real, for real. At this point, this is like the the fifth person. Trey songs, I, I I love you down. Your music is good, but this shit every other month, every other two months is somebody. You know, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Is, Mm. Whenever it's supposed to come out, it'll come out. And it just keeps getting swept under the rug. Or maybe they trying to build a case. I don't know. But honey, <clears throat> woo, it's a whole lot of whole lot. I just hope sis has her solid proof because coming to social media with these allegations is serious. Like, why do these people keep coming to social media? Go to the police. We can't do nothing. I don't wish okay. bad on nobody. But I just hope he ain't doing that. And I hope these people ain't lying. How many more Kiki told us are we going to have to see until, like, something happens if it's real? Anyway, I don't know, child. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But go up. If it ain't about me. You need something to fuck on, not someone. Let's Kiki. Something. Next one, okay? We have. He needs something. Something to fuck on. Saucy Santana, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I got a drink to this. Oh my god. Mm-mm-mm. Now this is a whole lot, a whole lot. Y'all now, know what a sex tape is. There heard. was a video. I can't post it on Messy Monday, but it was leaked, and there was a um, you know, a heavier set guy with a nice little snatch waist and a big booty getting banged out from the back. <laughs> And um, everybody was speculating. <laughs> and everybody was speculating that it was Saucy Santana. 
Now, I don't know what made people think it was him and why they said it was him, whatever the case may be. I didn't really dig deep into the whole situation, but it was just saying it was him and it was trending. But baby, we all know that body and that body gave saucy. And I thought it was him too. I was happy. I was like, sis, bitch, you better. Up. <laughs> bitch, you is throwing it back, bitch. I know you ain't. I know you fucking lying. But um, he goes live, and this is what Sauce Centena had to say. Where's Tattoo the thigh so you know that thing snitching. So on my right side. Now, Saucy, I love you down, bitch, but girl, you said that tattoo was on the what you call it side. But if you look at the video, that's the other side. We need to see both. Can you just take your clothes off and go like this? <laughs> I'm just trying to see something. I'm trying yeah, to send it see. to my Instagram. Because you the only girl, big girl I know, shaped like this. I mean, I don't, I don't know. That ain't that ain't good sauce in Santana, y'all. I don't think it's a, but sis was really defending us. <laughs> right here, real big and ghetto. It's a dollar sign. Shy is half of my real name. And it's cheetah print. This is how old it was. I was a young ghetto girl at 18. I have a tattoo on my right side, right here. Have you ever been in the bed with me know that? Any of my friends that ever seen me in panties or naked know that. So when you're looking at a video and you see the boy pull out from the bed and you see him shift his camera to the right. Don't say that, oh, some, the, edit, the angle was edited. If the angle was edited, the video would be flipped. It would look weird. You see him hitting the boy from the back, and you see him turn the camera to the right side. This is my left. This is my right. We're going to turn to my right. On the right side, where the boy flipped the camera at. <laughs> it's a whole tattoo right here. I know y'all probably would like to have thought that it was Santana, and it probably would have been a thing if it was Santana. A thing. But it's not Santana. So I can't I can't help y'all with it. The thing that's making me kiki is he he got that thong on so, Ben Saucy got a thong on. She is not playing with the girls. Damn, that do look like Santana. Oh my god, ew. But that do look like Santana. Girl, that look just like him. I mean from the back, clearly, huh? That looked like his head and everything. Y'all, that looked like him. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, God. But the guy is, baby, I couldn't see the tattoo. I couldn't see the tattoo there. And I couldn't see the tattoo in the video. Oh, King has baby. That's beautiful. <laughs> if he said it ain't him, it ain't him. And that's all we can go off of. It's not him. But all I'm gonna say is I watched and I watched and I watched. And all you showed us was your left side. So I don't know. Um, whoever the young woman is. Whoever the, whoever the young woman is. Facts. Sweetie, you did your due deals. <laughs> what was all that creamy stuff, though? What was that creamy stuff? You be seeing creamy stuff, man? What is it? Who are you talking to? Well! <laughs> <laughs> Not so virgin ass don't know what creaming is. <laughs> so that's what happened when you come out of your butt. That's something you should know. Something you should know. <laughs> it, yeah, y'all know my voice gone, but yeah. It ain't about my bitch me. Is trying to it go. wasn't saucy, nigga. <clears throat> okay. Next little ducket, we have Mother Gold and Priscilla Renee, which is now known as Money Long or something like that. Which I, this is serious because mind you, Keisha Cole already came out and told us how um, Priscilla Renee had got her songs as Keisha paid for the studio sessions and all that other stuff and then came out, you know, and gave her songs to people, whatever the case may be, whoop, whoop, whoop. Well now, Mother Gold, who is an underground artist who's known on YouTube though, who's a great writer, good singer, she came out with her song, I think it was hours for hours or whatever, and now it's alleged that 
Priscilla Renee took that song and now the song that I was, I was that we love, I play daily is actually Mother Gold's song. Mother Gold put out a freestyle with this beat. Who did that beat? Do you know Mother Gold? Who did that beat as a songwriter, a ghostwriter in the music industry? It's a bunch of sharks and you gotta, you gotta just be sharp out there. Mother Gold came out with her content her freestyle first, and it was so hot, I even made a music video out of it. I think she's swaggering, jacking, mother goes whole style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why so just throw music on his shit, but not me. I mean, it sounds the same. And this nigga playing the whole song, no man. That's too close. <clears throat> and that's why a lot of independent artists and underground artists be so afraid to put their stuff on YouTube because then mainstream artists take it and don't give it back to them. Or even getting them credit or saying, hey, I love your song, can I use this? You know, because a lot of people don't know Mother Gold. And that's just said that she is such so talented and her stuff is getting taken from her. That that's that's ugly. Ugly okay. Priscilla, I love hours for hours, but if that's where you got it from, I have to give credit where credit is due because yeah, that's just not right. So I don't know that's all you know, man. Well it ain't about me. Let's keep you next case. All right, y'all, that's all I got for Miss Money. Mama been over here going through some stuff. Um, let me, I'm gonna make a mukbang tomorrow for y'all and I'm gonna just let it all out. This is me putting me on Mr. Monday. But mama is back and she's better and bitch, we finna let y'all know the tea. Well, follow my Instagram. By time, child, cause you have been acting up. Energy just being bad, bad energy. <clears throat> I love Zoda. Anyway, I love y'all, appreciate y'all, hell yeah.